This is what they don't tell us. This is what they don't tell us. They just make it seem so good. Body scrubs. Body scrubs. I'm becoming her body scrubs. You see scrubs. everybody talking about her. Becoming her. Him. I'm him. Himothy. Who is her? Who is him? You know what I'm saying? Let's really talk about it. And let's talk about what people don't talk about. About becoming her and him. Hold on, my fault. I didn't even introduce myself. Hello, I am Shariah Wise. I am a being who creates to inspire high vibrational living. Welcome or welcome back. First and foremost, who is her? Who is him? It is the embodiment of your higher self. It's the best version of yourself. It's the embodiment and the acting as and the living as your higher self. That is who she is. It's you. It's the embodiment of the highest version of you, the best version of you. So you see a trending, her, becoming her, becoming him. Why is it so important to be her or him? And I'm realizing it's like so freaking desirable to be her and him and become her and him every day because she lives freely. She lives unapologetically. She lives life in flow. She lives life on the path of least resistance. She is in full alignment with her bliss and her happiness and her joy and her pleasure. She welcomes pleasure. She attracts pleasure. He attracts pleasure. He goes and he gets his pleasure. You understand what I'm saying? And it's just like life feels blissful. Life feels Feels like heaven is life heaven is on earth that is why we want to become her because she just lives this free flowing abundant happy joyous pleasure filled luscious life she lives heaven on earth period that is why we want to become her so like everybody else i'm on my journey of becoming her becoming the full embodiment of the best version of myself where life just constantly feels luscious and free flowing and pleasure attracts to me because i am receptive to that energy right i want that i want to be her too the, you know what i'm saying i want to be her too and so on my journey so far, here are five things that I'm realizing people don't talk about when they're talking about becoming her. Everything looks so glorified and pretty, and it is pretty, you know what I'm saying? And you do glorify certain aspects of your life. However, it ain't no peaches and cream. And we're gonna talk about that right now. And this, by the way, is in no particular order. Something that people never really speak on when becoming her is the consistency that it takes to become her. Becoming her is consistently and actively taking actions to retrain your subconscious programming your mindfulness routines, affirmations, um, meditation, you know what I'm saying? High vibrational music, whatever you have to do consistently to reprogram your subconscious mind, you have to do that every day. You have to do that consistently morning and night, even if you don't feel like it. So for example, a person that is training their body to be flexible enough to form a split has to train that muscle consistently. And once they get that split, if they don't maintain the practice of stretching that muscle, they will lose the split <laughs> you know what I'm saying and that is why consistency is so important you have to do your meditations every day you have to say your affirmations every day whether you feel like it or not whatever you do to reprogram your subconscious mind you have to do that consistently you must remain consistent in everything you're doing to keep your subconscious mind in alignment with her or you will lose her okay keep it up keep up. another thing they don't tell you when you see these aesthetic videos from creators who are becoming her, that is just that. It's an aesthetic video. It looks glorified. It looks amazing. It looks so fun and soft and all of that. However, in that journey, it's simply the journey of becoming your higher self. You not gonna feel good all the time. You're not going to always feel like her. And just because you don't always feel like her does not mean that you are not actively becoming more and more and more in alignment with her. However, becoming her means actively raising your vibration, right? As you raise your vibration, the capacity for the high vibration that you have heightens right so what was once the max of your vibration is now the floor of the potential of high vibration that is available to you so sometimes it may feel like why am i feeling like this i thought i worked past these certain vibrations and it's not the fact that you've worked past it it's just the fact that now you have access to more so this that was once high it's kind of just like 
mediocre because now you have more potential and you gotta just keep doing the inner work. The inner work never stops, right? And how you feel at any given moment is simply an indicator of how close or far you are to your higher self, to her, right? And so remember to always be graceful with yourself on this journey. Honor how you feel. Give yourself time to release, you know what I'm saying? So that you can have more space within your being for higher vibing energies. As your vibration heightens, your vibration can only heighten. So what was once the max of your high vibration is now the floor of the vibration potential that you have access to. So be graceful with yourself. Everything is always working out for your greatest good, even if it doesn't feel that way way right because sometimes what we feel isn't what actually is right it's simply like i said an indicator of how close or far you are my darling to vibrational alignment with her and adding to that point i see the moments when our high vibration becomes the floor of the vibration potential that we have access to in those moments i see those moments as upgrades so change your perspective when you're not feeling your best Re remember that you have to release energies that are no longer in alignment with the success that you're going towards it may have worked in a previous state of being however you will always be releasing so remember to be graceful with yourself and keep in mind that you are consistently upgrading okay and i'm gonna keep it real girl i'm gonna keep it real Another thing they do not tell you on the journey of becoming her is you may lose some friends. The journey to becoming her can be a lonely one. I'm not gonna claim that it is. However, it can be. Reason being is because you are actively on a journey to raise your vibration, heighten your vibration and the frequency in which you live. So as your vibration is heightening, you are becoming more in alignment with her. So people you identified with in a former state of being may fall off simply because the vibrations are no longer in alignment. Becoming her is a journey of self-love and inner work. So people that you identified with in former states of being have to also do the inner work on themselves to bridge that vibrational gap. You know what I'm saying? And if that isn't happening, you know, the nuts may fall from the tree. It's okay. It's all right. It happens. You know what I'm saying? And there's no love lost. However, if you're going to keep progressing, you need, you're need you going to attract those that are in alignment and what is not in alignment will fall off eventually. Unless, like I said, unless that vibrational gap is being bridged by another individual doing the inner work, it's looking slow. It's looking slow. This is what they don't tell us. This is what they don't tell us. They just make it seem so good. Body scrubs. Body scrubs. I'm becoming her body scrubs. No, 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 no. The, the body and the, the 3D physical work is also very important and valuable. And we could get into that in another video. However, the inner work will always be most important because the inner will show on the outer eventually. So. Another thing that they don't tell you when becoming her is you will stop caring about what other people think. Now, let me clarify. This doesn't mean that you completely disregard the feelings or opinions of someone else. You know what I'm saying? Especially if that person genuinely loves you. However, you are naturally going to trust your own opinions more. Trust yourself more and put your opinions and feelings in a higher regard to literally everybody else. In addition to that though, you won't take the opinions and feelings of other people so personal. Because you'll enter and understand that... Their opinions and their viewpoints on life is simply their perspective of life and where they've been and what they've been through. And you will be graceful with them because you can also understand that just like you put your feelings at higher regard than everyone else, so do they. And you can be graceful and you can also have a less egoic lens. You will respect where they're coming from, even if you don't agree with it, right? And you don't have to identify nor take things personal. You can just be okay with what is, right? And how they feel is what is, right? Now, the last thing no one really speaks about when becoming her is the delusion is real. Like, the delusion is real and I'm here for it. What do I mean? And I can only speak from my own experience. For me, becoming her 
is really embodying my magnetism, my alluringness. Is that a word, alluringness? You catch my drift. The way that I am attractive to everything I desire, the way I embrace and embody and live in my divine feminine energy, the way I'm becoming more and more and more receptive to everything that I'm desiring because I'm becoming more and more and more of a vibrational match to everything that I am desiring, right? So it reminds me that I am literally limitless and all I have to do to have literally anything I want is do the inner work to become more of a vibrational match to that thing. I can have whatever I want, literally. You can have whatever the you want, right? It's just about doing that inner work consistently, actively, to become more of a vibrational match to what it is you want. And with that being said, I just wanna let you know that you are her already. You know what I'm saying? You are him already because you're only drawing out the high vibrational energies that you already have within you. You know what I'm saying? You've been her, you are her. And it's just about knowing you're her and knowing that you are becoming more in alignment with her every day. And there's no right or wrong way of becoming her. And on my journey, these are the things that I'm realizing no one is speaking about when becoming her. So yeah, you guys, we are becoming her actively. We are living pleasure filled lives and creating that for ourselves actively the journey of becoming her is actively heightening your vibration to be in alignment with everything that you desire right it's the full embodiment and expression of the best version of yourself your higher self and it's literally just consistently and actively taking actions and steps to retrain your subconscious programming and reprogram your subconscious mind to be in alignment with what you consider her and who you consider her to be. And so you guys, I have an amazing meditation. It's a music meditation that I created from me to you that will help you tap into your divine feminine energy, that will help you become more receptive to your own confidence and build your confidence and know that you are divine feminine energy and you are receptive to everything that you desire. You are attractive. And the reason this meditation is so powerful is because music alone despite what the lyrics are saying puts you in a trance like state of mind and so if you can say affirmations and be interactive with the music meditation and also I have my singing bowl, singing bowl going throughout the whole entire meditation and you tap it into the beat and you let some especially if you're already familiar with my song sis you a bad bitch this meditation is for you so if you desire a powerful tool to help you retrain your subconscious programming to become her, check out the Sis You A Bad Bitch music meditation to raise your bad bitch vibrations from me to you. I have the link in my bio. As of right now, it is only $5.55. So get that right now. Positive change is here for you. And um, we're going to retrain our subconscious mind to make our 3D world shift. We have so many amazing reviews of the meditation already. Go check them out. The meditation is already helping so many people create their lives by retraining their subconscious mind and helping their mind focus with ease and less effort on everything that they desire right for a consistent amount of time and it's easy because it's music it's simply music that we're using with intention. So get the music meditation to raise your bad bitch vibrations right now. Also check out my high vibrational boutique, illuminatelifecompany.com. I have the links down in the description. We just released our high vibrational hoodies and sweatshirts for the full season coming up. So check that out. Wear your divinity proudly. I have a, I'll put a coupon code down in the description. If that is in alignment with you, definitely check that out. It supports me as a creator so much. And um yeah we are going to get into these unboxings yeah all right you guys so this is from my two cents llc i'm gonna have her instagram um in the description and i'm gonna put it on the screen she sent me this goodie bag actually a while ago to be honest and i have been waiting to open it because um i wanted to do an unboxing she said for shirai wise with love thank you so much girl let's see Shariah Wise, you are absolutely amazing, queen. Last year, I was in such a dark place, and your content and infectious energy pulled me into start healing. I apologize for the delay. Thank you so much for everything. Sis, you a bad bitch. Love, Tiffany. Tiffany, do you want me to cry? Do you want me to cry right now, Tiffany? This 
this just made my whole week. You just gave me so much motivation with this. Like, last year? But reassurance is important for a kid like me. Tiffany, thank you so much for this note. I really appreciate it, seriously. First off, how did you know that I needed another evil eye? Like, I just got this one, but like after this, like I ain't have no more and you really gonna give me the Nazar evil eye bees? Like, thank you. Y'all go support My Two Cents LLC. Tell her Shariah why I sent you, all right? Here is the card, you guys. You can, um, here's a QR code. So I'm gonna keep it here for a sec. Let's talk about the heavily meditated journal though. Let's really talk about the heavily meditated journal. Like this is my type of energy, nice hot pink and sparkly, just like me. It's a cute notebook. You guys definitely check her out. Like high vibrational products. It's just like all up my alley. And like she offers that like, so definitely check out our sis Tiffany from My Two Cents. I have a heavy, oh, oh, I got two, oh wait, it's a heavily meditated tea, let me open it, hold up, hold up though, hold up, divine feminine bad bitch, undercover, ah, uh, nah, hold on, and then, we got the, the branded heavily meditated tote with the Shariah Wise on the, Tiffany from My Two Cents LLC. Thank you so freaking much. Seriously, I'm not even kidding you right now, nor shooting you. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm opening right now. Here we go, here we go. All right, so everything here is from a company called Soulful Nectar. This is Soulful Nectar, you guys. Here is their business card, check them out. Go support Soulful Nectar, and this is from Montana LeFleur. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, please forgive me. Okay, Soulful Nectar. So, my girl Montana says, thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Thanks for your content and encouraging words. You are truly inspiring, Montana. Thank you so much, Montana. I appreciate your words so, so, so much. And this is a self-love journal. Like, I'm so excited to use this. I'm going to read the back real quick. Erin Hall, also known as Montana LaFleur, is an upcoming self-published author of many genres. Her debut work, Black Love and Passion, Matter and Shah, is a short African-American romance piece that you would love to feature at this week's book club session. The self-love journey was created as a pathway to rediscovering who you are. With the numerous prompts within the journal, you will be thrust you will be thrust through the gateway of self-love. From the first stroke of your pen, you will begin to take the steps to achieving your goals of releasing dead weight and shifting into a more positive outlook and thought process that will aid you throughout the rest of your life. This book features various outlets of self-discovery from affirmations and self-love quotes on every page that helps you to remain focused on reaching your goals. This project is dedicated to my child. Thank you for always readjusting mommy's crown. You are my strength and my motivation that was so beautiful montana all right so this is the self-love journal written by my erin montana lefleur 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 Hall. <laughs> side effects of self-love that's what people talk about montana so it goes through just like what is self-love side effects of self-love you know what i'm saying what else do we have we have say it with me oh she has mantras in here um it's interactive like this is definitely something that I'm so excited to do because self-love and the growth of your self-love is literally infinite. It doesn't stop, right? And so tools like this from people who are actively going through their self-love journey as well and have reached certain heights of self-love and raising their vibration, when creators like that put out work like this, it is so impactful. And so I want you guys to definitely check out the self-love journal from Soulful Nectar. I'm going to have her information down in the description and I'll put her Instagram on the screen. Check her out, let her know that Shirai Y sent you. And in a few weeks um, of me actively engaging with this piece of work i'm gonna come back and let y'all know how it's going for the kid okay oh wait there's more okay so here we have 
a candle with rose quartz in it, rose, and I think that's lavender and other herbs. I love it, it smells so, mm. that smells really good. Montana LaFleur, all in alignment, come in in divine time, and thank you so much. Y'all, please go check out Soulful Nectar. This is a lip scrub that I need. I literally need a lip scrub right now. Thank you so much, beautiful women, beautiful ladies, goddesses. Thank you for sending me these amazing products. I'm so excited to incorporate these into my life. Um, and yes, it's just giving very much in alignment. Y'all go check them out. Again, I'll have all the um, information in the description if y'all are interested. And yeah, you guys, like that's literally the end of this video. I'm so grateful for your time and energy and you spending some of it with me, baby, because why? I'm grateful for your energy. Your energy is valuable. Your time is valuable. And you giving it to me, well, sh I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, darling. I love you. I'm definitely excited to see you in my next video. Go check out my previous videos. Follow me on all my platforms. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Pinterest. Follow me on TikTok. We are almost at 200,000 followers. We just hit 2 million likes, so I'm just grateful for having the access to impact. I have my Sis You A Bad Bitch music meditation to raise your bad bitch vibration. It's going to be literally the most unique meditation experience that you will ever have. Go check it out. It allows you to really tap in and become in alignment with your divine feminine energy, but also just enough masculine energy to get your work done and create and take, attract the life that you desire for yourself. And it's music, so it's just super easy to get into that trance meditative spot. You could do it while you're on your way to work. Right now, at this very moment, it is under ten dollars so definitely go check that out also i have my high vibrational boutique illuminate life company we just released our high vibrational hoodies and sweatshirts just in time for the fall season so if you're interested in that i have a link down in the description along with the coupon code so with all of that being said you guys remember to remain consistent with all your mindfulness practices everything you do to actively retrain your subconscious mind even when you don't want to do it just do it like literally just do it because you already know when you stop meditating and you fall off of the practices, it's just the spiral and triple and triple trickle effect that we don't really need. You know what I'm saying? We are having rippling effects of high vibrational energy, right? Remember, stay consistent, keep your thoughts focused on what you want, and go with the flow, baby. Respond to life as it comes and respond responsibly. Everything is working out for your greatest good. So consciously know that and remind yourself of that at every every moment of life okay i love you i'll see you in my next video mwah, 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 mwah.